Hi, this is Miss Lavodi, and I'm going to be showing you how to create patterns with Adobe Capture. We're going to turn a sketch from Taisui Sketches Pro into a pattern using Adobe Capture. So we're going to go from this to this. First, open the Taisui Sketches Pro app for iPad. Create a non-representational abstract design based on a color scheme that you like. I'm using the shape and pattern tool. It's under the calligraphy pen and it has an A on it. Uh, this tool allows you to draw out a freeform shape and then auto fills it with the pattern or color you selected. I like to play with the transparency and I like to play with making organic shapes or slightly uneven shapes, um, layering shapes on top of each other, and changing the size and scale of the patterns within those shapes. So I'm playing with repetition here. I'm trying to select a group of colors that I like and just create a simple design that still shows some negative space of the white background coming through. So again, think of the balance and placement of your shapes. I'm also using the watercolor brush to tap in some splotches of watercolor. Remember just tapping the screen allows you to create that watercolor edge effect. And once I have some shapes overlapping each other um, and I feel that the design is complete, I'm just going to save this to my device. Um, but before I do that, I'm playing around with a little bit of yellow here. It is going to be important for when we bring this into Adobe Capture that you have contrasting colors visible in your design. So yellow contrasts that purple nicely. You should repeat this process to make another design with a different set of colors. These backgrounds are going to be potential candidates for things that we use in the background of the digital street art portrait which we have another video tutorial on. So I'm just creating these to give myself options for things that I can layer into my background of that project. And there's a lot that I can do with these other than bring them into the Adobe Capture app, but that's just gonna give me more options as well. So we're saving these to these images to our device, not as a transparent image, but just as a regular image. Uh, for Adobe Capture, they won't work well if you have them saved as a transparent background. So I'm just going in here and I'm saving them to my device directly so they show up um, and they'll be visible in Adobe Capture. So now I'm opening up Adobe Capture and the first thing I'm going to do is click on the top uh, list of options. I'm going to click pattern and from there on the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click the blue plus sign so I can import my images. So there's the blue plus sign, I'm clicking import image from my camera roll. I'm finding my first image from Taisui Sketches. Automatically it brings me into this uh, screen here and you can see a beautiful kaleidoscopic style pattern. If I tap on the left hand side, the third icon down, this will open up some options as you, to how you can change the tiling of your pattern uh, based on different geometric forms. So once you find one that you like, stick with it and then you can click on the bottom icon on the left on the left hand side this last icon allows you to alter the images brightness color saturation and there's a sliding scale for all of these things so you can really manipulate your pattern and alter it as much or as little as you'd like i'm selecting a slightly more saturated color for this pattern so that way when i use it in my other projects uh, I have a better chance of maybe seeing the design a little bit better. So I like that it highlights the pink nicely and I'm clicking the check mark when I'm done and it brings me to this last screen which allows me to further manipulate or rotate the pattern or even select a different area of my design. So once you have it the way you want, save it to your gallery and you have your first pattern. I'm going to just be repeating this process again for my other Taisui sketch design just to see what it looks like and I love how it automatically gives me so many options um, as to the pattern that I want 
So I'm just going through those motions again. I'm going to kick up the color a little bit so it's brighter and has a little bit more contrast so I can really see those shapes standing out. And once I get it the way I like it, I'm also going to click the check mark and then make sure I have it rotated the way I like and save it to my gallery. From here, just make sure you have your patterns also saved to your camera roll for future use. You're gonna click your pattern, then click on the bottom menu. There's an up icon uh, that you can select and then from there you're just gonna hit save to camera roll. So this entire pattern will be on your device and we can go ahead and find it later on to use as part of our backgrounds in our digital street art portrait. So one last thing we want to create for the purpose of our digital street art portraits is to make a text-based design in Taisui sketches. So you can use your own hand lettering or you can use the type tool. I will show you how to use the type tool. You want to select words that are going to reflect the person you chose for your portrait. So I'm opening a new sketch page and I'm starting to type out the word that I'd like to use. It's important to pick a font, scale it by pinching it with your fingers and rotating it to the place you want it to be in because once you click the check mark at the bottom of the screen when you're done typing out your word, um, you can't go back and change that word and move it around again unless you had it on a different layer that might make a difference. But I'm doing this all on the same layer and selecting different colors for my words and choosing the correct placement. Sometimes you'll notice that the little blue um, paragraph line doesn't disappear and unfortunately I haven't figured out a way to fix that. 